Hello everybody, I am back with another tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you all how to make your own YouTube background. Well, I have seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to do this, but mine is going to be very specific, probably 10 to 12 minute, I don't know how long it's going to be, but right now this is the tutorial that uh, the this is the background that I have uh, I have a cloud like outside as you can see like right here or well inside I would say I don't know and um, I have blue blue and then like a dark like a sh faded black here and then blue right now uh, you're gonna want to download the download the um, download the template from the link in the description and yeah and it will open this voila youtube background template dot psd um let me do control plus to zoom in a little bit now this is what you will see when you open it up um this is my screen resolution 1366 by 2500 but that's not actually my height 2500 that'd be a really big tall screen um i'm just doing this so in case so if something go if if you have like a really long youtube page it will still extend all the way down mine isn't currently like that so i'm going to when i finish this i'm probably going to use this one as my youtube background yeah, pretty cool, I know. So first off, you're going to want to download that and open it. And uh, you see this here. If you don't like this blue color, you can easily just get the paint bucket tool. Probably, yeah, I have to select the layer. You could just easily get the paint bucket tool and change the color. Black, cool. Sure, why not? But I personally like the black. I mean like the blue, sorry. On this side right here, this is where your videos are. This is where the little con this is where the little more info box are box is, and then this is where the subscribe all the this is where this part is. So videos, favorites, your regular YouTube video goes right here, obvious, and then the subscribe all uploads and favorites bar. Okay, um. The reason I don't have anything under this is because you guys could have a different setup than me. So if you do, then yeah, I don't want to mess up anything that you guys don't have. Because right here is where mine ends. I made it the whole thing transparent. So yeah, I could just do a completely plain background. Like take, th take this off and just have a different color on the whole entire thing and it would look actually I think in, in personal experience it would look really cool because it would all be transparent there'd be nothing there except my background so personal experience I think that would look really cool but let's get to the video sorry I've been talking so much so if you don't like that color you could change it but yeah Okay, right now I'm going to go show you guys how to make a background. If you've not seen my cloud desktop background that I have made and put a put a video up, there's two parts to it. Um it got cut off at the very end. I don't know I don't know why. And then I started recording right after. So yeah. Okay. So I'm um, right right now we're just going to make a quick uh background. So make two new layers, put the the layer two. I'm probably just gonna name that background, and I do not know what what's up with my computer right now. I'm gonna restart it later, but every time I go to like drag a layer and put it on top of something, it won't let me. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. So yeah, I'm gonna pause the video real quick and then do it. Okay, all I did was that I move this layer up here move this layer from the bottom to the top so right now you're going to want to go to layer one and you're going to want to make that black and use the paint bucket tool and just color it it will do that and you won't be able to see this the shaded black that's here but no need to worry actually 
yeah, you're good. First off, I'm going to take off the black. I just got a Facebook message. You're going to take off the... I'm going to pause that video. Pause this video. It might be very important because I've been talking to somebody. I'm going to pause the video and come back to you. Okay, I just checked my Facebook message. It was nothing. Um, okay, you're going to want to go to layer 3 that you made, that was made, and you're going to want to go to filter, render. Before you do this, make sure it's black to white, and then clouds. Perfect. Now you got a cool little background in the back. Now you're going to want to go to layer 1, and then color it black. That way, the, um, the light black, the light black here does not disappear. So, yeah. Then you want to go back to your cloud layer, and you're going to want to go to divide. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, one second. Yeah, that did not turn the, uh, dark, the dark, the light black, uh, to a different color. You want to go to your paint, uh, your brush tool, and you're going to want to turn it up to 500. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to make it a blue again, just like this color and then you're just gonna do little dots wait one sec okay you're gonna wanna make sure you're on the uh... the black layer though there you go see now you can start seeing the uh... color again i'm probably gonna change it from divide because divide if you use divide it like oh wait sorry you're gonna have to you have to be on the soft pressure brush tool. So let me go to that one, third brush over, and then change the pe uh, the pixels again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Just start clicking around. Like I said in the last video, if you watched it, do not click and drag because then it messes everything up like this well I'm trying to click and drag but I can't because my computer's messed up like I just said so yeah I'm gonna get that checked out in a couple minutes after I'm done with this video um, yeah and then you're gonna wanna make it look like that okay and now you're gonna wanna go back to your layers go to your go to your uh, cloud layer you're gonna wanna go to overlay it darkens it a little bit if you're on the blue like I am do anything that looks good for you but your the file size has to be less than 256 gigabytes that's the highest YouTube will let you and when you do dark colors it will decrease the file size which I like okay and that's really basic that's all I'm really gonna do because I don't want this file here let me see how, how high this file size is gonna be you always want to do it in in JPEG so you can see how big the file size is gonna be I, I'm just gonna see how big it, it is right now at quality of 10 it's 289 so I'm gonna go to 9 and it's of course gonna be perfect Sorry. Okay, 228. Good. Okay, now you're going to want to... Sorry about that. That's my dollar coin. Whatever. Sorry about that. Um, now I'm going to get a logo. Put my logo and put it on the top corners up here. So, let me get that. Photoshop. PNG. Get this logo. Drag it into Photoshop actually a perfect size I like it but like I said I can't click and drag so I'm gonna drag this one to the corner I'm gonna stop the video and drag this one to the corner okay guys all I did was I took the logo I made it a little smaller put it in the corner and that's it and then I right clicked on here duplicated it named it w VVV logo 2 may press control T and then up here it says here let me do that for you guys whoops okay control T it says the the width and the height you're gonna want to go negative so it like reverses it if you go negative it looks regular now and then un so yeah 
okay and then I hit enter and then it was like that so yeah um that's all I'm gonna do on this tutorial uh, because my video is getting a little long um yeah I've noticed all my videos getting really long lately okay so now I'm gonna show you how to save it and put it on YouTube Okay, you want to go to save as. I would recommend saving it as a PSD file also, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to use this maybe right now. You're going to want to go to your YouTube, or you're going to want to save it as a JPEG. Let me save that as number two. Save. Okay, will it fit? No, it will not, so I'm going to have to go to nine. Hopefully it will fit in nine. 256, okay, it will fit. Quality, okay. Okay, saves. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and reach 12 minutes. Okay, now you go to your YouTube, go to your account, uh, go to your channel, sorry, go to themes and colors, go to back, make sure wrapper transparency is on 100%, transparency is on 100%. Try and copy everything, pause the video, go to 1080p and copy all these colors yeah now go to background image choose file My, this is what I just did it's loading okay and there it is voila and once you if you put stuff like over here it makes a YouTube page bigger and then it's still there it still fits that's what I wanted to do it was a good plan for me so I hope you all like this video comment rate and make sure to subscribe if you like this video which most of you will it's very helpful um, because I I have seen YouTube youtubers try to make this kind of video and just fail at it epically so thanks guys comment rate subscribe thumbs up if you liked it peace out